Well, it's been hard to miss lately, the polar vortex. You've probably heard about it or seen chatter about it on Facebook, maybe seen videos from folks like this guy about how it's going to bring apocalyptic cold and snow here. Well, that's not really true. So what is the polar vortex anyway, and what's it really going to do? Let's raise your weather IQ. Well, winter is settling in, and so far it's been a cold one, and that doesn't look to let up anytime soon as Arctic low pressure drops further south. It means dangerous wind chills for even places as far south as Texas. Further to the north, temperatures near or even below zero. Well, the term vortex isn't anything scary. It just means the counterclockwise flow of air, which is how low pressure spins, and that counterclockwise flow keeps the colder air near the poles. Now you've probably heard us talk about the jet stream time and time again, and it helps deliver those shots of colder air to us when you see big dips in the jet stream or when the jet stream gets a little bit weaker. That colder air is able to sag further southward into more of the United States. When it's stronger, that cold air stays to the north. So the vortex is actually about 30 miles above the North Pole, and there winds can exceed 150 miles per hour on a regular basis that along with Arctic cold at the surface make up this polar or cold vortex that you've been hearing about. Well, something you've probably never heard of, though, is the Arctic Oscillation. In the warmer summer months, it's in the positive phase, and that keeps all of that cold air locked up away to the north. But in the winter, in the colder months, that's in the negative phase, and that allows more of that Arctic air to flow to the south in a weaker jet stream and make all of that cold air reach us in the Carolinas. <laughs> So what does this polar vortex do? Bottom line, it's not scary, but it can bring bitterly cold air to our area. It's happened before. It'll happen again. But does it mean snow too? Not necessarily, but as you know, part of the recipe for snow is cold. The polar vortex does bring the cold and with an active jet stream, storms are more easily able to form. That doesn't always mean that they will or that they'll always line up just right, but there's still plenty of winter left, so we'll see. With your weather IQ, I'm meteorologist Christian Moore.